To the end of the channel, we're going to check out this Marshall Origin 20. Back to the channel today we're going to take a look at this Marshall Origin 20. This is a Vietnamese made Marshall that's supposed to replicate the sounds of the Marshall Plexis or the old four input Marshall amplifiers. I think it does a really nice job. It's got some cool features such as a uh, high medium and low output so you can run this thing at I believe like 5 watts, 10 watts and 20 watts if you want more of a, a bedroom volume. It's just got an on-off switch, no standby. As far as EQ settings, we've got the master output and the presence, master presence. Basic stuff here, treble, middle, bass, tilt. Tilt kind of makes it sound like it's uh, tilted up on a on like a speaker stand. If you'd have an amp facing your, you know, facing up at you on the from the floor, it gives it more brightness. The tilt really makes this thing come to life. And then you've got this gain. Uh, this gain knob that gives you a little bit extra gain and you can push push pull it out like this and when you pull it out it gives you a little bit extra gain now this amplifier is not for anybody that wants a super heavy distorted amp this thing is is voiced to be like the old Marshalls that didn't distort a lot but they have that crunchy ACDC tone and it fits really well in a mix but uh, having said that we're gonna mic up this 1974 Marshall cabinet. It's got uh, greenbacks in it from the 70s. This thing sounds wonderful. On top of on top of it, I've got its uh, its mate. It's this is a 1974 uh, MK2. It's like a plexi, it just doesn't have a plexiglass front, but it's very similar. But we're gonna run this Origin 20 through this 4x12 cabinet, and we're gonna run some of these pedals. I'm going to do a comparison. We're going to run, if, this is a Chinese OCD pedal that I picked up at a pawn shop. We've got a fake Tumnus pedal, which is like the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The Centaur. So this is kind of like the mini Tumnus. I got this off Amazon for uh, 30 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. And then we've got the most controversial pedal and distortion pedal in history uh, that's really popular on Reverb. <laughs> and we're going to run this. So we're going to run three gain pedals through the Marshall Origin 20 and see uh, how it sounds with the gain pedal in front of it as well and mic up this 4x12 cabinet. Should be pretty fun. All right, we're all set up and ready to go. I've got my pedals up here on a music stand so you can see what distortion pedal or gain pedal that I'm running uh, during this demonstration. Right now I've got the, the Marshall Origin 20 set uh, at a at a nice tone. I'm not going to get into detailed information about amp settings. It's not rocket science to dial in a great tone on an amp. As long as that amp is a nice amp, you should be able to get a decent tone right away. Got it mic'd up with an MXL uh, condenser microphone, and uh, we've got the master volume at three. The presence is at about 2.1. I've got the treble dialed back to about three, two and a half, three. I always find it nice to dial the treble back a little bit on amplifiers. I've got the, the mid-range way up. The mid-range is at about three o'clock. It's, it's right around eight and a half, nine, okay, on this dial. And I've got the bass a little bit deeper. The bass is at about maybe nine, and the tilt is straight up right in the middle, okay? I've got the gain set straight up in the middle. So I've got a little bit of a crunch setting on this amplifier, okay? So this is no, no effects, anything. It's just straight up Marshall Origin 20. I've got it set in the mid position. It's very loud. This amplifier is, is loud. Do not let the fact that this is a 20 watt amp fool you. Five watts is loud. This middle setting, which I think is like 10, is cranking and uh, 20 is super loud. So trust me. This amp is plenty loud enough to gig with uh, and more. So this is the, the crunchy, a uh, little bit of a crunch clean setting.
Nice. Really good sound. So I'm going to bring the, the gain all the way up to max. Okay, so I've got, still got the volume on about three. And I've got the gain all the way up now. This is the gain. We're not going to pull it out just yet. We can pull the gain knob out and get a little bit more, more crunch out of it. And this, this amp comes with a foot pedal, so you can turn the effects on and off, and you can also engage the boost without having to push pull the knob. So here it is with the gain all the way out, or the uh, gain all the way up. All right, so that sounds really nice. It's got that classic Kiss sound, kind of the Who, Led Zeppelin, uh, ZZ Top. Really cool. Now let's pull the knob out. We're going to pull this thing out, and this will give us a little bit more gain. And to my, to, and I, I think it makes the amp sound a little bit warmer too. So here it is with the, the crunch and gain knob pulled out. Nice. Okay, so I've got my, my gain pedals lined up here. I've got this OCD. This is an OCD that's a fake. This is a Chinese OCD that I picked up at a pawn shop and uh, fortunately I only paid about 35 bucks for it. I thought it was the real deal, not knowing anything about OCDs, but it's a fake. But man, it sounds great and I love it. And from what I've researched, these things sound just as good as the original. So we're gonna do this OCD uh, pedal. I've got a this is a fake Tumnus pedal. This is uh, an Amazon $30 special. And then here is the P Melter. I'm going to say P Melter because I don't want to be uh, demonetized or flagged. But this thing absolutely kills. This is the Steel Panther satchel pedal. So let's check out the OCD. We're going to leave it on this setting and we're going to run an overdrive in front of it. And I've got the drive on this thing set at about 8 and i uh, got the volume and the tone. We'll put the volume and the tone straight up, all right? So let's check this out. Yeah, this pedal sounds great and for reference here's what it sounds like without that pedal
Cool. Now we're going to go into the tumnus pedal. The tumnus pedal, I've got the gain cranked up. Uh, I got the gain at about middle. I've got the, the treble at about million, middle, and I've got the volume cranked up to about eight. So let's, let's check out this tumnus. It's a pretty noisy pedal. You can hear that engaged already, right? But it sounds great. This is a really versatile pedal. This little, this little guy, man. I had it turned up really loud, so the hiss was kind of loud in the beginning. But this little guy right here can, it can get the job done. <laughs> Awesome. Now we're going to go over to the Melcher. Let's check it out. So we've got the, we've got the, uh, the booty <laughs> turned straight up and down, and dirty is straight up and down, and then load right in the middle, and then a <laughs> sizzle. We're going to do everything straight up and down, right? And we've got the, the bright switch engaged, or the tight switch, I guess is what it's called. All right, so let's check this thing out. All right. <laughs> That pedal's really, really nice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a reference. Here's the, the Marshall again by itself. And uh, the Melter. I'll dial in a couple, just a couple of settings here on the, the Melter. man super loud in the room and I'm only on three and I hope this demo really showcases what the origin 20 can do don't shy away from this amp 
if you want that classic plexi sound at a budget. You can pick these things up, used for maybe four or five hundred bucks last time I checked. Uh, brand new, they're going for a little bit more now than they were, so I'd look for a used one. They're very reliable, dependable amps, they're lightweight, and they sound great, man. Uh, so, and awesome, awesome, awesome deal with uh, when you put a, a distortion pedal in front of it. They have an effects loop on the back of it, so you can run your delays through the back of the head, unlike a, a plexi. Uh, and it's got a foot switch, so you control that as well. So, hope you like this video. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment below, and as always, have a great day. Peace out.